declaration of an autonomous zone in Seattle. That's an interesting turn of events, it really is. And it's been interesting to see how this whole thing's played out. You know, there are so many opposing forces and influencing forces in there, you know, with what Antifa's doing, Black Lives Matter, the way the whole thing has been infiltrated and is moving towards something, as I mentioned on the last report, that is very similar to the Chinese Red Guard and the Cultural Revolution that happened in China, which brought about the onset of a full-blown communist state in China. Millions of Chinese youth organized into the fanatical Red Guards, a paramilitary force concentrated mostly in Chinese cities. And with Mao's blessing, they wreaked havoc in the name of cultural revolution. Their mission was to destroy the four olds. Old culture, old ideology, old customs, old traditions. All of the olds must be destroyed. The idea was basically to tear down the vestiges of imperial China and rewrite history centered around Mao Zedong renaming buildings and streets, destroying cultural sites, and violently humiliating and often torturing and murdering anyone they accused of opposing Mao's ideas, which they plastered all over the cities and carried in their pockets in the form of Mao's little